G'day, I'm Tim Thompson and welcome to a new series I'm calling The Midweek Review where I get a piece of gear and I see what's what. This week we're looking at the Snedden's 6-in-1 Fencing and Forestry Tool. It was designed for the Australian Army and I can tell it looks like a mortar cannon which gives me an idea. <laughs> Fire in the hole! Hey, what are you doing? Okay, I think she's gone. This is primarily a post driver, but it features six tools in the one. And so like most things that do a range of duties on the farm, there's going to be some compromises. The plan here today is to find out where they are, what it does well, and then evaluate it on a couple of features that I think are ripper. We're going to start out though by talking about this as a post driver because that's what it primarily started out life as. With all these bits here, it's just as well the handles are offset. I'm actually finding that that performance is pretty good. When you compare that to the noise suppression on the baby brother, there's a considerable difference. This one's noisier. I think they've put a smaller tamping pad in this, which is probably going to improve its performance. And when you compare it to something that's market standard, and that by the way is the big boy from Fence Stay and it actually drives XL posts. But in terms of being a post driver, this is really well ergonomically designed with the two handles towards you, keeps you away from it while you're driving the post. Unfortunately, it doesn't fit the larger size stock posts. It's long enough so that you're not going to pull the post driver up over the top of the post and then accidentally chop your fingers off, which can happen with some of the cheaper, nasty ones. Now, some of you would have noticed this feature here. To set this up for log rolling duties, get this weapon of a looking hook and stick it in the tab. Take the two pins out of the lever, pull the lever off the side, and flip it upside down. Use one of your pins to hold it in place. This is really cool. See, Snedden's have heritage in forestry, and so this is a grab hook for logs. Chuck the hook on the log, pull down on your log roller, and the hook digs in straight away. You can cut rounds of firewood with your chainsaw without the chain hitting the ground. I've been looking for something like that, that's simple to use. This. I think is one of the best features of this product and I'm certainly going to be using it when I cut logs yeah. on the ground from now on. The next feature that this comes with is a post puller with a bezeloy end. It's hardened steel. You can even stick this on your tractor if you want to. But there's no need because you can use any one of these three pins that are on the machine and you can leave a post up out of the ground. This post's only just been driven into the ground and of course it's coming out very, very easily. You might consider getting yourself a bit of a pipe or a bit of a tube just to increase the lever length if the post is rusted into the ground. The high amount is really easy. Just put your bar in place. Now there's no need to bend down. Get the foot of the machine snugly up against the post not in the main fin and I'm doing that deliberately and I'm showing that it will work on any fin of a steel post it just won't snugly fit all the way through so as a post puller it's a little bit awkward if you're working off the main fin of the post but it will get the job done I have a little bit of concern about the length of this lever you might want to invest in a bit of old water pipe just to slip over the end and give you a bit more leverage but as an all-in-one machine that drives and pulls it's not bad the other end of the bar also has a hex head on it that fits onto the nuts from most common gate fixtures um, I think this is an example of one of those things that it was there they needed a hole may as well turn it into another tool it might come in handy one day it certainly fits onto the gate fittings without too much drama and it gives you tons of leverage so it's one of those features 
that you're probably not going to use every day. You probably still use your shifter to put on new gates. But one day you're going to be glad that you've got this hex nut adapter on such a long lever. Now the final use for this thing is straightening bent posts. Now I don't have too many bent posts. This one has been hit by something, probably nicked by a tractor as it's gone past. It's bent over and it's also spiralled around. So all I should need to do is attach this to the main fin, that's the one that has the holes in it, and then just simply pull it around. in the opposite direction to the twist, and that has straightened the post. That post would have been very difficult if we had pulled it out to try and get straight without a specialised piece of machinery. So, might come in handy if you're into recycling your steel posts, and with the price of steel posts today, who isn't? There is one bit of straightening left, and that's this top tab. You know how it bends over and it's a bit annoying, especially if you're trying to put caps on? Well, all you have to do is stick this on wiggle it about a little bit and your top tab straight as well. Now in terms of weight, my electronic scales tell me that this boy with all of the accessories taken off it clocks in at around about 10.8 kilos. With all the accessories on it's more like 15 and that means it's only 600 grams or just over half a kilo heavier than its baby brother the Snedden's post driver that I've reviewed previously. Click on the link to see this one perform and why I thought it was great. It worked, and it worked really well, and this is something that I'm really pleased that I have in my shed. Um, it's never been on the top of my list to get, but my goodness, now that I've got it, I won't be loaning it to anyone. And guys, if you like this kind of video, please don't forget, hit the subscribe button, give it a thumbs up, and there's plenty more content like this, blogs, and other things on timthompson.ag. I'll see you next week for a midweek product review. Oh, and um, if you get any ideas, make sure your wife's not home. <laughs>